Hello. Um, welcome to Integrated Reading and Writing 1. This is a developmental English course, meaning that we are going to develop your skills in both reading and writing. Um, so this video, I'm going to show you how the course is set up, what the course requirements are, and we're going to go over the syllabus. So let me share my screen. Okay, here's your course homepage. Um, if you are in the online section, everything will be posted online. If you are in the face-to-face -face section, we will be meeting Monday and Wednesdays in Old Main 201 from 11.20 a.m. to 12.35 p.m., okay? If you are in the online section and you would like to attend face-to-face -face classes, you can do that. I need to know in advance that you're going to be there so we can do proper social distancing, okay? So again, if you are in the online section of Integrated Reading and Writing and you would like to attend face-to-face -face classes, they are Monday and Wednesday in Old Main 201 from 11.20 a.m. to 12.35 p.m., okay? Just let me know in advance. All right, so you're going to see a couple of um, important things. First is going to be the announcements. Um, the announcements will be sent to your email. They are also going to be posted on the course homepage. I will send you an announcement every week with the assignments and what is due. The announcements are going to be how I communicate with you. So please check your email, please check your announcements page, um, because I will be sending you one at least every week, okay? Um, getting started tab, uh, you will find the novel that we're going to read. This is called The Absolute True Diary of Porta Dickens Kid. We will be reading this book throughout the semester. Um, you will find the whole PDF here, okay? So you don't have to buy it, you don't have to find it, it's already here for you. We also have rubrics. Rubrics are going to be how I grade the assignments. So how I grade the discussion boards, how I grade the peer reviews. Here's the essay comments breakdown. When you submit an essay, this is what I'm going to be looking for, and this is what I'm going to take points off for, okay? You are also going to see MLA formatting. So any information about MLA will be here. We have the Purdue Al MLA site. I really like this site. If you are going to access the site, be sure to do it on a computer. It's kind of funky on mobile and tablets, um, but it shows you exactly how to cite things, how to cite books, how to cite articles, how to cite electronic sources. It shows you exactly what the citation looks like. So we will be making use of that a whole lot in the course. And then general instructions. Here are the instructions for peer reviews. This is what you need to do when you are asked to do a peer review. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's go over the syllabus, which I need to update it. Give me one second to update it. Okay, all right, syllabus has been updated. Okay, so here's the syllabus. You can find it in the syllabus tab. All right, here's my information. My name is Chris King. Um, you can access uh, me by phone, by email, by Zoom. I'm also physically located in the Old Main Tutoring Center. That's room 206. It's going to be right across the hall from our classroom. Here's my phone number. Please don't forget to call me. Um, and my office hours have changed a little bit from what's been going to. Um, I am available Monday and Tuesday from 1 to 4. And I am available Wednesday and Thursday from 1 to 5. I'm also available by appointment. So if my office hours don't work for you, send me an email. We can schedule an appointment. Here's my email, kking at howardcollege.edu, and this is the best and most reliable way of contacting me. And again, our class, it says online, but we will be meeting from 11.20 a.m. to 12.35 p.m. Monday and Wednesday. Okay. Here is are the materials that you need. You need the novel, The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian Kid. That is found in the Getting Started tab. You also need to have a computer with access to Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, a PDF reader, and a web browser. Um, if you don't have access to a computer, we do have a tutoring center. We also have a library on campus. And if you don't have access to Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint, you can get those for free through your student email. You should just be able to go to Outlook and you should be able to access it there, okay? Here are some of the assignments that we're gonna be doing. We will be doing something called pre-writing, which is the first step of the writing process. We will be focused on grammar. Um, you will be writing every week. Um, you'll do a midterm essay. Uh, the book project we may or may not do this semester. We're going to see how things go. Um, you will also do a final essay and a final exam. Unless otherwise indicated, all out-of-class assignments should use MLA format, and they should be submitted through Turnitin or Blackboard. 
I am not going to accept assignments through email unless you can prove that you've had technical difficulties turning it in through Blackboard. Okay. All right, here's the attendance policy slash makeup work. You are expected to come to class every week and you are expected to conference with not only me. Yes, you will be expected to conference with me at least once per month during office hours or Zoom or by phone or through email. I am not gonna fail you for non-attendance. So if you do not come to class, that is not an automatic failure. However, I will be keeping a track of, track of attendance for um, academic records. If you are gonna miss a class, let me know. Um, if you need to switch to fully online, the course is set up for you to do that. Um, think of the face-to-face -face classes as kind of like an optional tutoring session for you to come in um, and see. And if you are in the online section, feel free to come in. Just let me know and wear your mask. Okay. Um, also, if you turn in on time, you will have things due every Tuesday by 11.59 p.m. With the exception of this due date today. You don't have anything due today. But all assignments will be due by 11.59. There will be one day of grace period. So if something is due on January the 26th, you can't get it turned in until the 27th it will not be counted late. If for any reason you cannot complete your coursework, let me know. I do accept makeup work and late work for extreme medical emergency, bereavement, or other circumstances outside of your control. So if you cannot turn your work in on time, let me know in advance. I'm flexible, I'm willing to work with you, okay? Okay. So here is how you will be graded. To make an A, you need at least 900 points because we are on a thousand point scale. To make a B, you need 800 points. To make a C, you need at least 700. And anything below 700 is a D or an F and you will not receive credit for the course, okay? Accessibility. If you have a need for accommodations, talk to your advisor. They will get you into contact with the accessibility services coordinator. If you need accommodations, please contact your advisor. I wear these glasses because I'm dyslexic, and when I was in college, I needed extra time on tests. So if you need something like that, talk to your advisor, okay? Here's the course calendar. Please note that this is subject to change, but this is kind of a rough overview of what is due and when it's due. And if I change it, I will send you an announcement. This is a college course, so we may talk about controversial, sensitive, and slash or adult material. Please be prepared for that. If there is something you cannot handle, let me know and we can get you an alternative assignment, okay? Uh, the instructional plan for altered operations, you may see changes. We may go to fully distance again like we did last semester. If we do, the course is set up for you to complete it online. Um, but be aware that we may be changing operations for the semester. That is a possibility. Face covering requirements. When you are on campus, you need to wear your mask. And you need to wear it over your nose. So I will not let you into class. You will not be allowed into the tutoring center. You will not be allowed inside the buildings unless you have a mask and you are wearing it over your nose. Um, we will also social distance whenever possible. So again, if you are in the online section and you would like to come attend face-to-face -face classes, let me know in advance so I can ensure that proper social distancing will take place, okay? Confidentiality. I do not share information about you and your performance in the course with anyone except for you, a coach, your advisor, and the Dean of Students, Christy McKeska. Those are the only people I am legally allowed to share this information with. If you have someone else not in the mentioned list that you would like to be able to access information about you and your performance in the course, you need to go to the registrar and you need to submit written documentation. Okay. Course policies. Um, you need to commit, you need to complete your assignments and they need to be saved as a doc or a PDF file. So if you use Google Docs, you can save it as a doc or a PDF file. If you use pages, you can save it as a doc or a PDF file. Those are the only file types my computer can open, so I need those submitted correctly, okay? Again, if you don't have access to Microsoft Word, you can access it through your student email for free. Um, you do need to have access to the computer. If there are submission issues, if you cannot get something to turn into Blackboard, I need to know at least 24 hours in advance. 
and I need to have a screenshot. So if you cannot get something to turn in, you need to take a picture of the issue and you need to email me and let me know that you can't get it turned in. That is the only way I'm going to accept assignments through email, okay? Uh, be sure that you're turning stuff in on time. Um, if your grade is like wonky and, or you don't know how to figure out what you're making, let me know and I will calculate that for you. Um, I will send out an announcement every week. Be sure to check your announcements. Please, when you email me, give me 24 to 48 hours to respond to your week. I'm usually pretty quick about email. Again, email is the best way to contact me. Um, I may or may not check my email on the weekends. If I do, expect a wait of up to 60 hours on the weekend. Okay. Do you have any questions about personal information? Ask those in email, ask those in a phone call. Don't ask those during class. So if you need to know about your grades, if you need to know about your performance, if you have any other personal questions, um, please email me or call me. Do not ask those during class. That's to protect your privacy. Okay? Respect and decorum. You're not only expected to respect me, but you're expected to respect yourself and each other. So we define respect as courtesy and consideration of another person. You should use proper titles. You should avoid inappropriate language. Essentially, be kind and polite. Okay? Don't throw hands or shade, or any of that. Just be kind and polite. Uh, don't use your electronic devices in class unless I specifically ask you to. Um, if you use a laptop for notes, that's fine. Don't be on your phone unless I ask you to be on your phone, okay? And don't use your headphones in the middle of class unless I specifically give you permission to do so, okay? And last but not least, plagiarism and academic integrity. Plagiarism is defined as the copying of another person's words or ideas without citation. So if you are going to use words or ideas from someone else, and you will, because that's part of proof, you need to cite them. We will go over MLA in class, but if you're unsure of how to do proper MLA format, or for whatever reason you cannot access the Purdue Owl MLA site in the Getting Started tab, do the author name, do the title of the work, that's a good citation for now, okay? Um, we do have a plagiarism checker. It is called Turn It In. All your papers should aim for 20% matching or lower, okay? If you get over 20%, please note that that's not an automatic fail. I will be looking at your papers. Um, if, you, if I do determine that you've plagiarized or you do plagiarize, that assignment will receive a zero. You will not be able to make it up. And I will contact Christy McKeska, the Dean of Students. So please note that I take plagiarism very seriously, Howard College takes plagiarism very seriously, and we do not accept cheating, okay? All right, that's my spiel on the syllabus. So if you have any questions, email me, call me, come see me um, during my office hours in the tutoring center, and I will see you next time.